Hey guys, welcome to this week's first impressions. I am going to be talking about some brand new products from Revlon. I feel like it's been a hot minute since they have launched like a brand new product. So I spotted the brand new Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color Display at my local Rite Aid and it was completely picked over. So even though this line has six shades, I was only able to get my hands on three of the shades, but we are gonna swatch them and try them on and do the full on follow me around first impressions thing and see how they wear. Now what is different about these is they have 100% no wax. It is a gel based formula. It says that on the display. I'm thinking that's gonna make it feel very comfortable and moisturizing. These are supposed to be a weightless formulation and these at my Rite Aid, I believe were $8.99, but you know, I don't know why, but from store to store and around the country, the price varies. Cool packaging, right? It kind of reminds me of like a popsicle or something like like an ice cube with something like it has like this what am I talking about I'm trying really hard to be descriptive on every element and I'm like oh it looks like an ice cube a colorful one these are supposed to be matte we know they are gel formulated we know that they are going to be more comfortable on the lips because of that the red shade that I picked up is called love and I think I might wear this one today mmm I don't know. Um, and then I also got Obsession, which is just like a nice bright pink. And then of course I have a nude and this is called Seduction. Actually, I'm gonna wear this one today just because I'm in the mood for something a little more nudey. Um, and then maybe halfway throughout the day, I will switch it up and actually try these on my lips. You guys know I am like the ultimate makeup investigator. So we are gonna go off the checklist and really figure these out together. So I'm going to apply Seduction and it has a nice doe foot applicator. It's a little bit like a triangular shape. Um, I'm telling you Revlon needs to like, the one thing that drives me nuts about their newer products like over the past year, the scent of them does not jive with me. It smells like chemical fruit. I don't know why that that's like my description of it. I would rather something smell like absolutely nothing or be maybe like a little bit sweet, but we will see if this wears really well. Like sometimes that taste and that smell goes away really quickly and then I can get over it. I am hoping that that is the case. I'm not wearing any lipstick or lip liner, but when I do my foundation, I, I do tend to kind of get around my lips and I find that that is just a habit. That's pretty. The scent is not as overwhelming when I'm now putting it on bonus. That's good. I do not have like cute put on lipstick face. Like I watch other YouTubers and they're like, they look like glamorous and beautiful. And I feel like I look like a rabbit. I'm like, let's just get this on. Let's put on just a tiny little extra. All right. So it's pretty, it's not like a very bright nude, but I like it. Oh, let me swatch the other ones really quick before I like sign off. It has almost a little bit, like you can see next to this red, it's a little bit of an orangey red, like a brick red. I don't know how I feel about this kind of a intense pink for fall though. It doesn't really scream fall to me, but I believe these products are staying in the Revlon collection, so they will be like a standard carried all the time item. Um, all right, so yes, getting coffee, living my life, working, checking in in a little bit and I will update I will update you as soon as I know what's going on. Ooh, the second layer is not drying down. Dry, get matte already, please. Do you know what's hilarious about dogs? The excitement never changes. I mean, if I could be this freaking excited to leave the house every single time, are you ready to go on outings, Puka? Do you wanna go bye-bye? Puka. Oh. Give me five. Whoa! It's so exciting! Oh, Dancing Feet is back. Dancing Feet, if you watch Snapchat, you know what this is all about. I am seriously obsessed with this song, you guys. Like, I keep, I keep it on repeat. Okay! Love Macklemore. Okay, so, lipstick check-in. It has not been that long, and 
it's really shiny for a matte lipstick. This is not matte in my opinion. It's pretty, don't get me wrong. It's just not matte, which is what I was expecting. So whenever I, oh, people walking by watching me vlog, so embarrassing. Like four guys, great. And they are totally making fun of me. No big deal here, just talking about my lipstick with my white dog listening to Macklemore. Okay, so um, the lipstick is shiny. I'm going to see how this wears through eating and then I guess that will be like my next check-in. Yeah. Extreme lip close-up. I probably need to wax my mustache. Um, we are at Heirloom Bakery eating, and I just had breakfast for lunch, and let's see, is my lipstick till, let's hope I don't have food on my face, actually. Mm, Revlon, not bad. Um, eventually, like after sipping on coffee enough and drinking and eating, the glossiness of this product wears away and you are still left with a little bit of color and then it's matte, but it is by no means matte right away. It doesn't dry down, but I can still feel like a little bit of the products there. So, you know, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna change up the color when I get home. And All right, you guys, so it is time to play with some of the other shades. I'm going to try on the shade Obsession and then the shade Love, because why not? And we'll just see how it applies and how it looks. The scent on this one is really strong. Oh my god. I don't know if this is like a good color for me either. Oh yeah! Alright, I don't think this is like the best color for me. And I just feel like this is not, um, I don't know. This is not really a fall color. Like I wouldn't be like, oh yes, fall. Let's just break out that fuzzy sweater and my hot pink lipstick. I just, I gravitate toward everything like neutral, dark, neutral nudes, dark, vampy, berry, reds. Like that's my fall palette. Um, so this is, oh, my hair. so this is just a little bit loud to me and it's just kind of, I don't really like this one. It's a little bit patchy right through here. Like you can see that you'd probably want to do two layers. It's like a creamy matte stain. That's what it is. It is not necessarily matte until you blot it down and then it is matte because it's a stain but it's still like there's still something there kind of a weird way to explain it tough to explain but hopefully you get what I'm trying to say if you think that this is like a liquid lipstick like what you see from Anastasia or from Girlactic or from who else does liquid lipsticks Kat Von D like those like thick liquid lipsticks that dry down completely matte. This is not like that. Let's try the other shade. I gotta go to Target and I'm not wearing this to Target. Target tends to be like a place where I always run into subscribers, which is really, really fun for me, except for I usually have like tampons and toilet paper in my cart. But I'm just me being me, you know. Okay, we're gonna go in with love. The lighter shade, the one that I've been wearing all day, I am absolutely going to continue using this one. I really, really love it. What were you called? Seduction. This one is awesome. And even though it doesn't go completely matte, which I've said like 5,000 times in this video, um, I really like the shade. I like how it felt. It didn't dry out my lips. It stained my lips and there was color there all day long. And the initial application was really nice. Now the darker shades, what I'm sensing immediately is they're a little bit patchy. Where you see through here, it's like a little bit like smudgy and not even in pigmentation, which this one might very well be like that, but because it's more of a nude lighter shade, you don't really tell and it's not really an issue. You know what, I'm gonna be weird and I am going out and I want to put this one back on. So the darker shades, not really doing it for me. Yeah, I really love this one. This one is incredible. If you see Seduction, grab this puppy up because it is so nice and the color is beautiful. Um, the brighter ones, mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I will check back in with you guys in just a little bit. Oh, thanks, James. 
Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank my my onset stylist at Target. <laughs> How's my lipstick? Mm. It's not bad. I like it. You like it? Can you okay. have some more? All right, gross. I know. We're, oh, yeah, we're so romantic. Same situation at Target. They are out of all of the same colors. I can feel you. Just pop out of nowhere. <laughs> Not much more to say other than at Target, these are $7.99, which I believe is like a buck-ish cheaper than what I paid for. Um, and that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave me comments. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.